Hi, my name is Jim and welcome to preworkoutchallenge.com. This is my website where I review exercise equipment, supplements, uh, I go over workouts and uh, anything fitness. So today um, we're gonna talk about what is a foam roller for? And uh, it sounds like a silly question, but I'm gonna go into um, some of the exercises, some of the types, some of um, the materials uh, and uh, some of the benefits. So uh, stick around, uh, hit like if you like this, hit subscribe and the bell if you wanna be um, informed next time I come out with a new review. And uh, let's go ahead and go on to this one. So uh, what is a foam roller for? Uh, so as I mentioned, these things come, foam rollers can be referred um, for rollers, not just foam. Um, I've got one that's uh, rubber that may, looks like foam. They can be hard plastic, PVC, uh, almost anything. Uh, most of them are, are a firm foam material. So they also come in all kinds of different um, uh, shapes as I will have those right here in a minute. And um, they're for many different uses. So uh, this is to work out the thigh muscle, for example. Uh, and this is pretty much the, this is the one I have. Anyway, so um, the, uh, what is it for? It's uh, starting with uh, spicing up warm up and cool down exercises. So we talk a lot about warming up. That's very important, especially um, I'm getting a little older and it really helps um, preventing injuries. Um, it, these, uh, these rollers will help you get limber. Um, they'll help stretch out your muscles. So that's, um, you know, that's why I use it. Uh, the other reason that I use it specifically is um, I have to go to physical therapist once in a while. Um, when I do hurt myself or a chiropractor, they do recommend doing these. I follow it like the directions that they, that they tell me. So these, um, these rollers are used for rehabs. Seems like exercise bands and rollers is what they always give me. But um, here's some examples. Uh, of what it does, muscle relief, chronic back pain relief, uh, gives you better posture, uh, talked about flexibility, uh, workout recovery, and also um, other kinds of injuries and recoveries. So um, myofascial release and trigger points. One of the significant role, things foam rollers do is allow you to self-massage tense muscles and knots. These areas are referred to as trigger points. Um, so the myofascial release, that's just a, um, it's just a uh, um, releasing a tight muscle. That's just a, a fancy word for that. And uh, which foam roller to buy? So if you're a newbie, um, I would uh, I would stick to just one of the simple ones, which I will show you the shapes here in a minute. Uh, actually, this is just the simple one. Uh, it's somewhat firm. Um, some of them, you know, if they're too soft, they won't do anything. Uh, but um, so the size, the size that you see right here is pretty much um, the standard uh, 12 to 16 inch is what most people have. I like the big one, especially if you have more room. Uh, see, intensity is the how soft or how hard it is and the texture, um, smooth and bumpy um, and uh, everything in between. So I'll show you examples of that. So. Here we go, smooth roller, I already talked about that. That's the basic, these are the least expensive um, and uh, you can do almost anything just with this. Uh, these came out with a couple of years, a couple of years ago, rumble rollers, I think they're very cool. They help work deeper into the muscles. Um, I like this, you can't, you know, it's not good to use for everything though. So maybe you could have an inexpensive one for both. These are not as expensive as they used to be when they first came out on the market. And this, I feel like this is a newer back roller. There's a couple different brands of this. This comes in a large or a small. And um, the main reason this is to do, you'll see this is uh, working the back, just like you'll see uh, all these all these rollers. Um, uh, the back is a popular place to use it. Um, this is good for spine movement, flexibility, and mo uh, mobility. And finally, um, I didn't go over every, oh, here, uh, the orb. Uh, this is just an example of a foam massage ball. These things come in all kinds of different shapes. Uh, well, uh, yeah, they come in different shapes, sizes, uh, textures. Um, these are to get more specific. Um, tar here it says specifically for targeted areas. Uh, and then I think this is my last one. 
This is a massage stick, which um, this helps with the upper back, legs, relieve sore points. So you just use this with two hands. Uh, you can use your leg back. I think it's kind of hard to use your arms, but I'm sure there's a way. And uh, other times I just go into real quick uh, PE foam rollers, EVA foam rollers and EPP foam rollers. Those are just fancy names for regular materials that you probably recognize. Uh, the, some of the benefits, um, I can't possibly list all of them, but um, they relieve muscle pain and uh, stiffness. So uh, strenuous activities uh, for unnatural position for a long period of time, stress out muscles, uh, this works them out. Uh, increasing ra range of motion because it enhances elasticity, um, relieves the knots, makes you, you know, when you work it out, you're more, um, your range of motion is better. Um, here's a typical way to do the lower back. Foam rollers have, uh, let's see, foam rollers relieve back pain. And uh, I don't know a lot about this, but uh, for people with chronic back pain, regular in, inversion therapy together with foam rolling is highly recommended for recovery. So I'm not sure about the technique for um, bad back pain. I don't have it, thank God. Uh, provides relaxation and uh, I will use mine sometimes on my back uh, just after sitting at the desk like I am now for a long period of time. It just helps uh, keep you stronger um, and keeps you from, um, uh, keeps your back from getting sore. So uh, in, lastly, improves posture. Uh, it's good to uh, flatten out your, uh, lengthen your spine and flatten out your shoulders. Uh, so doesn't hurt. And a few exercises. Now the sky's the limits on these exercises. You can, you can use a foam roller uh, to even to get stronger, not necessarily build muscle, but to get tone, um, get stronger. You know, you can add some muscle. Um, I don't know about weight loss really, but um, the basics is uh, quads. And I should have put a picture for some of these. Uh, here is the IT band, which I've used too. This one uh, helps to reduce knee pain. Um, you put it between the area between your glutes and knee and work that out. Uh, that one can hurt. Um, you can do your quads, um, hip, hip flexors. Um, we talk a lot about hip flexors. It's important to keep uh, these limber. A lot of people have problems that uh, start from the hip flexor uh, and also calves. So that's pretty easy. You just um, sit down with your arms behind you and you can roll out your calves. You can put, um, you can put one leg on top of the other to sort of, um, I don't know if I've got a picture. I don't have a picture of that, but you can put one leg on top of each other to put, the, put more weight on it. And um, lastly is upper back, um, which this is a, um, one of the most effective uses. You can use it on your lower, upper and lower. And um, I said, uh, what I've got is roll it and repeat for 30 seconds. So roll it for a little while, um, take a little break and do it again. So how often and how long to use the roller, which I was just talking about. Now, the recommended frequency of foam rolling is 10 minutes a day to two to three times a week, which uh, sounds good. Um, actually, if you work out three times a week, that's an easy way to remember because you can warm up for your workout, whether it's running or, or weightlifting, CrossFit. So um, the uh, I usually use these just when I, I don't do it right, you're supposed to use it more often. I just use it when I feel like I need it, unfortunately, um, unless I have an injury and then I use it on a daily basis, just like my therapist or chiropractor tells me to. So um, in the uh, wrap up, uh, they come in every size, shape, um, material, and they have many uses. And um, this is uh, about it. So if you want to um, learn more on preworkoutchallenge.com about other exercise equipment, I've got an entire section uh, on um, exercise equipment. I do have many home gym workouts now, uh, legs, back, chest, bodybuilding, uh, protein powders, pre-workout supplements, and um, various reviews on things. So that is it for that. And thank you for listening.